Let's bring in the author of Why Bad Looks Good, Prosecutor Wendy Patrick, Republican nominee for Congress here in the 30th District of California, intensive care physician Alex Balekian, and the founder of American Gravy Concepts, restaurant owner, restaurateur, Chef Andrew Gruhl. Uh, thank you all for coming on. So, Dr. Balekian, to you first, because Newsom kind of pulls these charades every so often. He gives us numbers, he says he's doing this, and then the office comes back to say something like, oh, no, 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 we didn't say they were they were helping. We just had them down there to kind of protect the, the ports of entry. Well, it's not really where they're needed. I, I just keep saying that there's this epidemic of mental illness in this country. You have Joe Biden, who's got dementia, forgets which country he's supposed to be protecting, which borders he's mm -hmm. supposed to be reinforcing. You have Gavin Newsom, who's trans. He's the governor, but he identifies as commander-in-chief. And he's focusing on the border when he should be focusing on our own streets. Yep. And he's also a pathological liar to boot. Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, this is your area, Wendy. So, the, you know, down there, it's in your neck of the woods, Hakumba, in that whole San Diego border. No, I think it is. And, you know, I think the, the president is focusing on the wrong border. Uh, Gavin Newsom is focusing on the southern border, but this invisible fleet hasn't materialized. Mm -mm. And that's significant. He's under fire because he's being fact-checked. And for anybody who thought that viral videos are only found on TikTok, you'll notice that this video has gone viral because of what he says and what he claims, right. which is somewhat different from the announcements coming out from his office. And it may be in pursuit of the shadow campaign for the White House, which is, I suppose, a May, story. Maybe. Speaking of BS, Chef, uh, the governor's office contacted us and they said, uh, quoting here, put this up on the screen if you can, uh, this is a request that Trace shared that $20 minimum wage bill has cost California 10,000 jobs. That's not true. Wrote that on June 7th. They say the California Business and Labor and Industry Alliance, the numbers are wrong, but the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they got it right because they said jobs increased by 4,000. There are are so many holes in this business of labor statistics report. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, so they use the time frame from when the bill was passed to when he signed it. So mm -hmm. September of 2023 to April 1st of this year. Everyone announced that they were leaving and that they were getting rid of all their employees between April, May, and now into June. So those numbers weren't even included, number one. Number two, there was an inflation in the numbers because of the holiday seasonal work that went up significantly this year, but all of those workers were also laid off. And then, you know, I mean, number three, overall, they, they're just making all of these things up to begin with. Yeah. And they're, they're fudging <laughs> these numbers. Yeah, they really are. Uh, Alex, to you now, in a unanimous vote, KTVU says, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors declared the city a sanctuary city for people who are transgender, gender nonconforming, intersex, and two-spirit, a pan-Indian term describing people who are neither male nor female. They also voted for a ceasefire in Gaza, and some of the people in San Francisco have got to be thinking, hey, how about you look at um, homelessness? Maybe you look at crime. You were the city council, and I don't think that the ceasefire vote from you is doing them any good or us any good. I'm just frankly exhausted at this perpetual celebration of victimhood, <laughs> where you have these people imagining victimization wherever they go, and then you have these progressive politicians enabling that victimization by mm -hmm. calling Sa San Francisco now a sanctuary city for everything. Yeah, and, and the truth is, Wendy, that, you know, crime is a problem in San Francisco. <laughs> they have a lot of problems in San Francisco. The prosecutor doesn't want to prosecute criminals. There are issues in San Francisco that need to be addressed, and the ceasefire, listen, maybe it's a big issue around the world. It's not a big issue for the San Francisco City Council. That's exactly right. You know, people care about what matters most to them. You know, we used to say what's on the kitchen table, kitchen table issues. Now mm -hmm. it's literally what's there because it's what they can afford. It's different. It's how they can afford to transport themselves given that crime is so rampant. And sometimes some of these other issues are somewhat seen as a distraction mm -hmm. because what real people care more about is themselves, their families, staying safe, food on the table, gas, groceries, the things that affect all of us. Yeah. Uh, Chef, California Globe writes the following here. Small business uncertainty reaches highest level since pandemic forced business closures. The subheadline is this. 22% of owners reported that inflation was their single most important problem in operating their business. I mean, th they're month to month. A lot of these business owners are like, eh, we're just kind of getting by. Well, it's week to week because you got to yeah. take payroll into consideration. Those costs have gone up so much. Everyone's struggling to make payroll. Uh, every restaurant owner I'm talking to is struggling. Every single one. But the thing is, inflation is kind of a catch-all. You still got to think about what leads to all these other issues, crime, taxes, regulations. And the, the, the administration, both state and federal, they want inflation to be the issue because then they can lie about it. They can fudge the numbers like we were just talking about with those labor statistics. Yeah. Chef, Dr. Belekian, 
Um, Wendy, thank you for coming on again. We very much appreciate this. It was a great panel.